Hi, I'm Brad Carney. I'm a philosophy major. I'm a 20 here at Dartmouth, which means I'm a senior. And uh, outside of class, I'm involved in the War and Peace Fellows. I'm a UGA, which is an RA at other campuses, but it's a little bit different. And I'm a competitive bodybuilder. And yeah, that's it. Typical schedule for me, it's gonna be a, an early morning. Usually I like getting up in the mornings and starting homework. I think I work better in the mornings than in the late nights. So I'll wake up around 6, 6.30, start doing homework, get some tea going, uh, get that caffeine in, and I'll get ready for class. I have Latin every single day except for Tuesday uh, at around 8.50. So I need to be kind of awake and ready to, to resuscitate, you know, Latin uh, early in the morning. After that, I'll go get breakfast. Class is, you know, about an hour. And I'll go get breakfast after that with a friend or two. I will, you know, be communicating with residents. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a UGA here. So I will talk to residents. I, I fix residents' problems. I help them find the resources that they need to be successful at Dartmouth. And I also have meetings as a staff member of residential life here. And, the, and then two days a week, I also am a manager at the gym here on campus. So I'm in charge of making sure that the gym is running smoothly. Yeah, so I chose philosophy because I'm interested in myself. If that, I mean, that sounds terrible, but I think in order, you know, to even when you start thinking about critiquing society, uh, you start with yourself, a self-critique, and then you can move that outwards towards other things. And so uh, having the tools and the tool set to, to look at some problem and systematically uh, go through that and figure out the problem and solve it. Is, is a big part of philosophy. And it, you know, here the tradition is analytic philosophy. So, you know, it's gonna be very rigorous, like premises and conclusions um, to go through problems and how to understand them. So when I came to Dartmouth, I actually thought I was gonna be a Gov major. Uh, I actually came from the Army. So I thought that I wanted to continue, you know, international relations, government things. And I did take a couple courses in government and I took a couple classes in philosophy and I think that it just speaks to like what Dartmouth is, is that you come in thinking that you know exactly what you want to do and you take a couple classes and then something else strikes you. So in my case, it was just political philosophy that really, I was like, ah, this is my jam. And then I continued more with the philosophy track than more so than government. All right, so we're here at Alumni Gym, which is the gym that students use for anything, basketball, um, lifting weights. I, I came from the army, so I was used to running and, you know, kind of lifting, but not really like powerlifting. I came here and I was looking for some club that I could join. I didn't really want to join uh, a varsity sport because that, it takes a lot of time and dedication. So I joined the powerlifting team. It was a lot more, a lot more chill. And I was good at it. I was decent at it. And I, became president of the club. I was first a captain, you know, making sure, and I, I, again, I like that. One of the threads I have is just being a mentor. And there's lots of um, opportunities for mentor and leadership here at Dartmouth. And the club system is one of them. <clears throat> so the powerlifting club is a student run club. I became a captain, helped people um, get their lifts to, you know, what they wanted to be their goals, help them achieve their goals, and then I became president so that I like administrative work for some, for some reason. I started cutting down one summer, you know, everyone likes to have a nice summer body. And I just decided to start bodybuilding. I had a coach and we, I did my first show there and I really liked it. I was hooked. And so now I just do that full time. And I also help people lift. I, I haven't stopped helping people lift. So, you know, through my UGA role and just through people I know around campus, I also just, you know, make sure if someone needs help or they want to lift with me, I, I just do that. So it's also just another route to help people um, become a better version of themselves.
Uh, before I got to Dartmouth, I was in the Army, and um, I decided to, when I decided I you know, wanted to get out, I started researching schools so that, you know, that already that's one one tip, was looking into and being specific about what it is that you want out of your education, if that's where you're going. Um, and I was like very intentional that I, I, I knew that I wanted to go to the best school I could go to. You know, coming from the Army, I wasn't 100% sure on like what school I could get into, but you know, I took classes to show that I was serious, like community college classes to show I was serious and that I could do, I, I could do the academic work. A piece of advice, if you're coming from a non-traditional background, just make sure that you have things in your resume or your life story that show that you, one, are dedicated to something, whether you played, you know, you're an Olympic athlete or you're a veteran, it doesn't matter. You just want to be able to show that you have this dedication drive um, to, that's required to, to be at a school like Dartmouth. And then, you know, additionally, you want to make sure that you have something to testify to the, to the account that you can actually do the work. And so whether that's the community college classes, which might not transfer, none of my, my uh, credits transferred, but it doesn't, it didn't really matter because I'm here, but it, it at least showed that it's like, okay, at this community college, I can get straight A's. So I might not get straight A's here, which I don't, but I can do the work. If you like this video and you want to learn more about top colleges, please like and subscribe.